Good rainy morning day, Hector Capra's students and staff. Today is Thursday, May 16th, 2024. It is day one of our special rotation. Lead us in the pledge. It's some students from Miss Busso's class. Please stand in Miss Busso's class. Say your name. Giovanna, Natalie, Melody, Guillermo, Shane. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. All right, students, I know Dr. Kurtz out there and trying to get our last two cars in, and we had to delay because of the weather out there. Um, teachers just kind of delayed taking attendance for a few minutes um, so we can get all, all of our students in. Um, first, I know this week we've been talking about the testing and talking about, you know, staying positive, working hard. Um, do not stress. Do your best in the test right there. And I know our fifth grade and kindergarten were testing yesterday, and they did a fabulous job right there. Um, but it's not over yet. We still have next week with the math. So ELA, you've kind of finished up. Math is next right there. So just to, we've talked about some test taking tips right there. We've talked about staying positive. We've talked about reading carefully the questions and going back to the passage. Um, we've also talked about um, taking your time. So one of the things you can do, and then we've kind of talked a lot about, is making sure starting next week with math is that you're getting, getting enough sleep, going to bed at a good time, and then fueling up, getting that breakfast. So, you know, sleep is huge. Sleep, getting that good night's sleep before you take a test and seeing that your body is ready, your mind is ready, and then making sure you're eating something in the morning. I know um, all you guys usually go to breakfast, but make sure you're getting some breakfast right there because we have to fuel our brain, fuel our body ready for that test right there. So starting next week, it's our last week of testing, so we're not done yet. Um, we want to make sure that we are protecting and taking care of our brain and body right there so we're ready to do our best right there. So. Um, think about fueling up uh, we have, and, and recognizing positive things right there. We have happy birthdays to Leilani Kujan in grade one, Ethan Lee in grade two, and Emma Velasquez in grade four. Um, happy birthday today. And let's see what's lunch. Today for lunch we will have milk, assorted fruit, veggie dippers, corn, and hot dogs with ketchup and mustard. Instead of hot dog, instead of the hot dog, you may have a veggie entree salad or a protein box. All right, awesome. We've got some got wonderful choice, hot dog, um, other choice of salad, protein box. So thank you to our cafeteria staff right there for putting that together. Um, remember, live school, end of the year party, inflatables. Get to make sure you're getting your points, your 400 points. Teachers may next Wednesday, I'm gonna need your final count there. I'm hoping to get almost every student that's able to go. Um, we're gonna have a great time that last week of school recognizing those students for positive behaviors right there. Um, and we'll have that schedule coming out because it'll be in the morning each of those days with the time right there. Um, also, reading, we continue to read. Um, you still have all your scholastic books in your, in your classroom. Those count as AR tests as well. We wanna also recognize those, those top classrooms for each grade level. We're gonna get some pizza. Each, each student in that class is gonna get a coupon for, for Nice Guys Pizza for their own individual pizza right there. So continue reading, it does not stop. We did the, our reading test, but reading does not stop. That's how we're gonna get better right there. Um, and Mr. Ken, I believe we do have a science trivia today. So extension of science trivia right here. And Mr. Ken's gonna put that up. If you know the answer, you can dial 215. Mr. Ken's gonna put up a little science trivia right there. And it says, what is the farthest distance dandelions, a dandelion, milkweed, or cottonweed seeds can travel through the air? Now, yesterday we talked about disbursement with dandelions, but today we're talking about how far they can travel. So again, what is the farthest distance dandelion, milkweed, cottonweed seeds can travel through the air? A, one mile, B, five miles, C, 10 miles, or D, 100 miles? Hello, you're on the air. Hello, what do you guys think it is? We think it's C, D, or C. C uh, is not C. Hello, you're on the air. 
Hello, you're on the air. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, this is Mr. Taker's Fashion Week, and it's me. It is not me. Aww. Hello, you're on the air. <laughs> All right, let's see if you get here. Hello, you're on the air. Yes, how far is it travel? It's not, it's not B. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, it's Miss Richard's class. Yes, what do you think it is? My class thinks it's A. It is not A. All right, cross this elimination here. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, it's Miss Finley. Yes, what do you guys think it is? We think it's D, 100 miles. It is D! Yay! Congratulations to Miss Finley's class. The, um, oh, reject right there. Okay. Um, it says that these plants produce seeds with tufts or hairs attached called poppy. These poppy catch wind like parachutes, allowing seeds to sail as far as 100 miles. Miles propelled by wind, according to this source right there. So 100 miles, that's pretty amazing how far those seeds will disperse. Kind of like parachutes right there. So congratulations, Ms. Finley's class. Um, and to everyone, continue. Remember, we talked about this test taking sips. We're not done yet. We got next week right there. Fuel up. Get your sleep. We're ready for the next week right there. And again, let's have a wonderful Thursday right there. And what are we always saying, Ms. Class? Smiles are free. Have a great Thursday.